Hello, everybody. Um, this is our weekly preview video for <clears throat> February 20th through 24th. Um, just a reminder, of course, that um, Monday is um, President's Day, and so students will not be in school. Um, and on Tuesday and Wednesday, students are actually going to finish up their um, really short informational unit we've been doing, um, informational text, uh, which is kind of serving as a bridge between our argumentative writing unit and the research unit, which we're going to start later next week. Um, so in the argumentative writing unit, um, I provided students with, I let them pick a topic and then I provided them with a couple of, of um, reliable and credible resources so that their focus could be on this new for a lot of them type of writing, which is argumentative writing. Um, but as they go into the research unit, they're going to be doing their own research. And so we are um, in this short informational unit, which we've been doing this week and we'll finish up in the middle of next week. We've been talking about the text structures of, of informational text, um, how to identify what type of text you're reading, why that even matters or is helpful, <laughs> um, like why they should bother doing that. And um, now we're uh, kind of moving into credible sources. So your students next week will be creating a very, very small <clears throat> slide deck presentation that they will just send in to me. They don't have to get up and present it um, on what are their thoughts? Are UFOs extraterrestrials? It's just kind of a, a fun topic. Um, we've talked about how UFOs are just just that, just anything that someone sees that they can't identify. And we've talked about the, you know, the science and the folklore behind what some people think they are. Um, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, so your students will present a, a quick little presentation on their opinion on it. However, based on some research, they are going to have to have some research. And so we're going to talk a little bit about finding credible sources. So we started that yesterday, which is Thursday the 16th. And so um, they'll work on that again today. Um, and then next week, they'll have a little bit of time to do some research and put together a little presentation. Pretty low stress. Um, and it should be able to be all done in class. If your student's absent, though, of course, they'll need to make that up at home. Um, and then, like I said, we'll start the research unit. With the research unit, we'll start with, um, again, how do we read informational text? Um, how do we get how do we get the information out of it that we need so that we know we're comprehending it? And how do we know when we're not comprehending it? So those are some important things. Um, students will also write some summaries. Summary writing can be tricky because you really have to differentiate what's important, what's not important, and then what's actually the most important. So um, elements of the text. Um, so they'll do a little bit of summary writing and then they will have time to research and they will create a presentation on a research project that they choose. Um, as of right now, I have it in the plans that they will write a research paper and do a presentation, um, but I might just have them do the presentation, which will, of course have written elements. So I'm still debating on that, but that unit will go through spring, through uh, conferences. So that'll be a couple weeks away. Um, yeah. All right. Um, remember, 135 minutes of mem being due by February 26th, which is not this Sunday, but I think maybe next Sunday. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much.